Hello, my name is Megan McIntyre and I'm a neuroenergetic kinesiologist. I would like to give you another tip today about um, how you can manage stress when you're at home with homeschooling with your children. It isn't easy being at home, first of all, and second of all, it isn't easy managing other people around you and their stresses as well. Science has proved that we can uh, feed off each other with um, when we're stressed. So when someone's yelling at you, it's really hard to not then yell back to that person. So if your child's getting really frustrated with the class that they're um, struggling to comprehend, they usually, children are quick to get angry and frustrated. And um, it's easy for the parents to feed off that energy and get frustrated and can meet that uh, level of anxiety or anger with that same level of anxiety or anger. So some top tips I've already told you about my ESR, uh, points that you can hold and um, with some deep breathing. Um, another way of doing it is just literally some calm, deep breaths. We know getting out for a walk in nature is very calming and very good for mental health. Please make sure you're moving every day and that you are outside. Um, if you can for at least half an hour for a walk, a run, a ride, doesn't matter. Just as long as you're outside, even if it's gardening in your own backyard, pull out a few weeds and just be out in the sun and in the fresh air at least 30 minutes a day. While you're outside, whether it is gardening or walking, I would like you to practice the breath, the breathing and being conscious on your breath. Those who meditate will know all about this. Those who don't, just concentrating on the breath quietens the mind and can really bring you out of that sympathetic nervous system stress response into a parasympathetic nervous system calm response. So there's different ways you can do the breathing technique. You can do the two, four breathing where you breathe in for two, hold for four, and then slowly breathe out for four. You can do three, six breathing if you have good lungs and you want to increase the slowness of the breath. So breathing in for three, holding for six and out for six. So two, four breathing, three, six breathing. It's just a really nice way to fill your lungs, hold at the top and then slowly bring it down, bring the breath out, don't rush it. And this is really, really good for the parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system is about that rest and digest. When we're stressed and into our sympathetic, uh, we tend to hunch over and we're busy and we're working hard. And when we're in that state, our digestion completely switches off. The body is in that stress response where it says, I don't have time or the resources to worry about digestion right now. I need to be ready for my proverbial threat. So when we go into our breathing and our breath, we're able to relax. We're able to turn off that sympathetic nervous system, turn on the parasympathetic nervous system and really let every cell in our body just be present and relaxed and let that digestive system work as it should so that all those beautiful nutrients that you've eaten with your nice healthy lunch or dinner or whenever you're doing this can be utilized and you can really get out of your mind and into a really nice um, calm state. You can practice this with your children, maybe at the bedtime. You could put on some calming music and you just simply lie together or sit together on the couch and you just breathe slowly. Quick breathing, you'll notice when you're um, stressed, you tend to breathe really shallowly in your chest. So you breathe like this. This is not really good for... Um, the cells in our bodies, for the digestion and for our mind as well. Uh, panic attacks, people who suffer those will um, breathe like that. When you feel like or you catch yourself breathing quickly, just be mindful of that and just remember, okay, I need to slow. Go and find somewhere comfortable, sit down and just really slow it down. Breathing in, holding and breathing out. And then go again. 